So Rob, we're going to talk a little bit about influencer marketing. You obviously have done a, a ton of it over the last couple of years. Tell me what's working for you most. We find that scaling our influencer marketing program is what helps us the most. We will start with a really big blast using a big YouTube star, a celebrity, but then we will find people that will help sustain our campaign throughout the window. Uh, and our campaign windows are typically six to eight weeks. Uh, so we'll look anywhere from you know a mid-tier influencer to help sustain the big blast, but then to continue rolling throughout the window, we'll use micro-influencers. We try and bring everything together to make sure that we're, we're covering all of our bases. But also, we have found that using the big influencers with that big blast is what really triggers conversation, uh, and it spurs smaller moments of conversation. And then the micro-influencers with their own spheres of reach are helping us really sustain that conversation. What we're looking for with an influencer is somebody that has a perspective, uh, a point of view on their channels. They have a visual style, uh, but moreover, they really fit with our brand's verticals. So we know we really index well with sports, entertainment, music, and gaming and those influencers will typically fall within those categories. When we look at a very big influencer, it has to be somebody that has some history with our brand. Uh, you know, and at Jack in the Box, fortunately, most people in California, Texas, uh, they've got some history with the brand. They went there growing up. Uh, they go there when they're having fun with their buddies in the evening, have some tacos, have a munchie meal. Uh, so for us, we found a lot of these influencers are big fans of the brand, and many times they'll approach us. So for me, yes, collection of big influencers, but also people that are producing beautiful content for our brand at all times. Uh, and to me, that's not just an influencer anymore, right? They are now an advocate for your brand. Tell us the main challenges that influencer marketing has today. And as an industry, what do the influencer marketing companies need to do to get more of your dollars as well as you know everybody else's? The biggest thing that people struggle with uh, is ROI. How do we prove that we are driving sales in, for us, restaurants? Uh, that's something that I'll continue to turn to somebody like you guys to, to give me the answer for. Uh, we don't have a perfect science yet, but we do know that influencers are efficient. In working with you guys, we've seen that incredible transparency with somebody like Miranda Sings or Swaggy P uh, has really driven up the levels of engagement on those pieces of content. But beyond that, how do we find the right ways to partner with influencers while fitting within FTC guidelines, it's tough.